Grumpy Nerd Geek Face Reviews Grumpy Nerd Brutal Honesty too. Grumpy Nerd Driving Grumpy Nation Grumpy What's up? What's up, Grumpy Nation? Today I'm back with something awesome and brand new. Okay, now these are super, super brand new. Um, I have never seen them before. I read about them. They sound amazing. They look amazing. So I'm going to dig into these. Now I got six out of a case. Uh, I, I felt around for them. I felt some heavy ones. I felt some light ones. There was three cases there. Uh, so I kind of just dug through all three. Who knows? I might get all doubles. These are the Blizzard Cute But Deadly Mystery Minis. Okay. Now this is series one. These look amazing. Now let me just show you the box art on these things. The box art is unbelievable. Okay, very nicely done. Now these are made by a company called Happy Worker. Uh, now you can check out their website at happyworker.com. They make these really cool uh, vinyl figures, statues, bunch of stuff like that. But um, these initially were available only at BlizzCon. So back in 2013, they released. Uh, a three pack at BlizzCon, and it was, I think, Arthas, Kerrigan, and maybe I forget the other one, uh, Sylvanas, maybe, or something. But, anyways, the point is that these were until now, until just now, these were only available at BlizzCon, uh, and they only had like three or four different ones. Now, there are nine different ones. Now, uh, I will show you on the picture, but on the back here, you can see they have all of them, and they show the rarity. So, just to give you an idea, we got Kerrigan, Arthas, Sylvanas, Zeratul, Murloc, Diablo, and then there's three mystery figures. So there's two different Murlocs, and there's another Arthas. Uh, everybody is 6 out of 36, which is a really weird number. Uh, that would be basically like 1 out of 6, so that's not the best thing. Um, but the other three, uh, the rarities, one of the Murlocs is 2 out of 36. And the other Murloc and Arthas are 1 out of 36. Now, I am a fan of Arthas. Here is Arthas right here. I love me some Lich King and Arthas. If you're a Blizzard fan, you should already know. Uh, Funko put out some mystery minis of Heroes of the Storm, which had Arthas and Kerrigan. These look different, and I'm really excited to see what they look like. I have no idea what they're actually going to look like uh, size-wise. So, let's just stop talking, and let's just get into it. All right, guys. Now the bags on these things are epic. The bags are huge and they've got some cool art on them. It's got all the figures on the bag itself. So very cool looking bag. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. All right guys, now here is the first figure and it is Zeratul. Uh he looks amazing. Now the sculpts on these are so cool. Um they're supposed to have the cute but deadly look to them. Uh but the colors on them, the paint is amazing on this guy. And the best thing, and I don't know if you can get a chance to really get a good look at it, but you can articulate his wrists. So his wrists actually move, uh, they're on a swivel on both hands, and his head uh, doesn't really move. It feels like it could maybe, but definitely his head does move back and forth a little bit. But what a freaking awesome, awesome mini. I love this. So that is Zeratul, and he looks badass. And like I said, the paint on these things is unbelievable, and to have... A little articulated wrist is just fantastic. So that is Zeratul. They actually come with stands. So I didn't even notice that. that He actually came with a little stand. And that's probably because he's really head heavy. Uh, so they came with a little stand, which is great. I love that. Okay, again, guys, these are going to be from Blizzard. Uh, so they're going to be StarCraft, World of Warcraft, and Diablo figures. Basically like the Heroes of the Storm. Same thing. And I think these actually might be based on the Heroes of the Storm characters. Um, and... The wrists actually pop off. You can actually take his little hand off, uh, and there is a little peg there. So that's why they have the articulation. But very cool. I love it. And with the stand, it looks awesome. So that is their tool. Ooh, I love it. All right, now this is Kerrigan. Now, all right, guys, now here is Kerrigan. Now she has the tiniest body that you've ever seen on a mini. I mean, this thing is super tiny, and it's got her bone wings and they're real thin but they articulate her wings actually articulate that is crazy so you can actually pull her wings down uh, I don't know if you can see that you can pull her wings down you can pull her wings up and then the coolest thing about this is her hair her hair is sculpted so awesome I love these these are freaking phenomenal now 
Alright guys, just to give you an idea of the difference between these and the Funko versions, there they are. Now that is Kerrigan. Now this Funko version looks like every other mystery mini that they have, although the bone wings do look pretty freaking epic, but the hair... Well guys, I just found a major flaw. Uh, I was trying to hold this up to the camera and I dropped it and it hit the ground and her head broke off! Her head broke off! Uh, I'm pissed. I can definitely super glue it, but that's the problem. This head is super heavy, and this body is very, very tiny, and it almost real flimsy. Um, so pissed right now, but I can definitely fix it with super glue. Um, but I'm very bummed. But here, now we can get a better look at the head. Uh, the sculpt is just unbelievable on this. The hair is amazing. So if I was to say there's a design flaw, this thing weighs about nothing it weighs less than a coin or a penny and this thing weighs a lot so that's definitely something to watch out for if you do get these if they fall off their stands at least with Kerrigan uh, it could break so that sucks but whatever alright guys now here it is Diablo uh, very cool figure he has a stand but I don't know where okay so his stand is gonna be on his tail uh, but if you can see the gem on the top, the, the crystal kind of on the top of his head, it's, it's see-through. So it's like a, a red see-through one. It looks very cool. Alright guys, now these, the whole point of these is cute but deadly. So they're supposed to be cute versions of the actual characters. Now if you see the difference in this Diablo to this one, there's actually a ton of difference. Um, very different and unique sculpt. Now I love this one, I really do. Um, it's got tons of spikes and it's very detailed. The problem with it, though, is that, again, Funko, with their kind of basic, basic uh, poses on their minis and their Funko Pops, where this one, I don't know if you guys can get a good look at that, but Diablo is flying on his tail, giving you the freaking horns up. Now, that is awesome, okay? It's cute. It's funny. I love this. I think this is great. God damn it, I'm pissed about Kerrigan. Ah. Anyways, so that is that, guys. I really like the Diablo one. I think it's great. Uh, I would love to get an Arthas, so hopefully I can get Arthas out of this pack. This is a really, really tiny one. This is tiny. And it is a rare Murloc at that. This is a white Murloc. <laughs> He's jumping up given the 80s freeze frame, and I think it's great. Uh, now on the base of him, you can see he's like jumping on the water. He's got that little splash. Uh, the paint, again, awesome on this. Now these are very small. These are, these are small minis. This is more along the size of a regular Funko Mystery Mini, maybe even a little smaller. Um, but this is awesome. Now this is the rare one and I don't know which one it is. If I was to go by this, the purple one, this is a 1 out of 36, so this is super rare. Uh, very cool, he's got blood splattered all over him or red water or whatever that is. Maybe he's jumping in blood, I don't know. But anyways, very cool detail, very cool paint job. His fists fade from like black to purple back into the white. Um, just a great job on these. I like these a lot. There's not a lot of Blizzard action figures slash minis uh, that you can really find. So, you know, anytime I can find anything Blizzard, I try to tend to pick it up uh, right away. Maybe this is Kerrigan again and I can fix my other one. That would be great because I'm pissed. It is Kerrigan. I'm okay with the double. Uh, because of the fact that my other one broke. So, pissed though, because I want Arthas, and I'm afraid that since I picked up another heavy one, I probably got three Kerrigans. Um, hopefully not. It's Kerrigan again. God damn it. Alright, so now I know what to look for when holding the boxes, because I didn't know what I was looking for. I didn't know how to feel the weights on them. Um, but this is definitely Kerrigan again. So, you know, I broke one, I got two extras, whatever. Three of the same out of six boxes. What am I, unboxing rocks? Uh, but I did get a rare Murloc, which is very cool. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend these minis. Um, like I said, you need to be careful with Kerrigan. She is, it's kind of, I want to say, a design flaw as far as how tiny and light her body is compared to her head. But the sculpt on the head is amazing on her. So that is that. So to recap, we've got the super rare white and purple Murloc which is awesome. We've got Zeratul, which out of all of them is my favorite. I really like this sculpt. I love the fact that you can articulate his wrists. Very cool. Love this one. Diablo, which out of all of them, I don't think uh, it's my favorite. I like it. I like the pose. I think it's funny, but it's a little too cutesy for my taste, but I do like it. 
And then we've got the Kerrigan. So, not the best haul out of these, but I really like these and I'm going to buy the rest of them and try to find me the rare Arthas, the rare Murloc, and the regular Arthas because Arthas is my dude. So, thanks guys for watching. Grumpy Nation, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you did not, thumbs down me. Uh, go check these out, guys. I will leave a link in the description below for uh, the company. And I got these at Hot Topic. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you later. Grumpy Nerd, Geek Face Reviews. Grumpy Nerd, Brutal Honesty too. Grumpy Nerd, Try the Grumpy Nation. Grumpy.